In today's video, a revolutionary socialist asked Charlie Kirk a question about how he can ignore the fact that capitalist individuals are ruining people's lives, destroying their businesses and exploiting labor, all while clinging to outdated ideologies. Are we not witnessing all these things happening right in front of us? Let's hear Charlie Kirk's response directly in the video. Those who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. I'm a revolutionary uh, socialist. How can you ignore the contradictions within capitalism and its exploitation of indigenous peoples and its exploitation of labor and its exploitation of its ecological dislocations? America has made plenty of mistakes. I am not an apologist for every decision that America has made in the history of our country. However, America is a country that has made the world a better place. The world is more generous, more fair, more benevolent more creative. When people are in trouble, America steps up. When there's a humanitarian crisis, America steps up. We're the only country in the world where even those people who say they hate it refuse to leave. I'm waiting for all these celebrities to leave America, and I haven't seen it, because there is no better country to be in than America. And number two, there is a waiting list to get into this country legally. That America is an evil country, and that is, it's, it's within our fabric, which you're nodding your head and you agree with is insulting to our history. It's an incorrect analysis of the good that we have done with the world. And honestly, it is not looking at what's actually happening, the amount of people that want to come into this country yeah. to make their lives better. For me, a revolutionary socialist, also known as someone who lives in their mom's basement. A revolutionary socialist, in other words, I want everything you have, but I'm not prepared to earn it. Why doesn't that revolutionary socialist move to North Korea, move to Cuba or Venezuela? I'll bet if he go there, he'll beg to come back. Imagine saying I am a revolutionary socialist and claiming to have the moral high ground. There is not a single example in history where socialism didn't devolve into murder and corruption. Revolutionary socialist who has never been outside America and wants what you have except your job. We're the only country in the world where even those people who say they hate it refuse to leave. I guarantee this guy and everyone like him will not like socialism if they get it. A socialist can live in a capitalist country, but a capitalist would never be allowed to live in a socialist country. I love that part when Charlie Kirk said, I am waiting for all those celebrities that hate this country to leave. All these people that stand up and make all these accusations of how bad America is must realize it's because of freedom of speech and they have it good. What are your thoughts on this video? Do let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel to hear more and show your support. Thank you very much. Take care.